Welcome to e-learning with Jossie's Cosmetology School. This is the Indiana State Board of Cosmetology and Examiners Statutes and Rules Interpretation by Jossie's Cosmetology School for cosmetology and manicuring students or recent graduates in preparation for the State Board exam. Welcome future cosmetologists and manicurists. This lesson will help you learn the following on your road to success. What the Indiana Board of Cosmetology and Barber Examiner's role is. How a cosmetologist and manicurist are defined by the State Board. What are the sanitary requirements and who's responsible for setting those? and what is required in order to get your license. It is your duty and responsibility as a licensed professional to know each and every law, rule, statute, and standard that affects your license. So let's test your knowledge. What do you already know? Do you know what the board does? Do you know their duties and their purpose? Do you know who appoints the board members? Do you know what an executive board member is? Do you know what the requirements are for members to become appointed? Do you know what you will be licensed to do as a professional? And what about the ways you can be penalized, fined, or even prosecuted for violating those rules? So the State Board of Cosmetology and Barber Examiners is a division of the Indiana Professional Licensing Agency. It's responsible for issuing and governing cosmetology, barber, manicurist, esthetician, and electrologist licenses. The State Board members are appointed by the Indiana Governor. Each member must reside in Indiana. The total may not have more than five members belonging to the same political party, and the term of service for a board member is three years or until a successor is appointed. The seven board members consist of the following. Two of the members must be a licensed cosmetologist, actively practicing the profession of cosmetology for the previous consecutive five years. Two of the members must be a barber, also actively practicing for the previous five years. One member must be either a manicurist, electrologist, or esthetician practicing for the previous five years. One member must be an owner or operator of a school but not licensed as a professional and one member must have no affiliation with cosmetology except as a consumer. So let's visit the rest of the ways that the board is formed. The executive board members consist of a president, a vice president, and a secretary, while the treasurer of the state actually handles the financial deposits of the IPLA. So the president, vice president, and secretary are elected at their first annual meeting, which gives them a term of one year. They're elected by a majority vote of the rest of the members of the board. And vacancies can be filled from officers by the board. The board members are entitled to a salary per diem, which is for each and every meeting that is held, reimbursement for travel expenses, and other expenses occurred in connection with the member's duties. The sanitary requirements are established and furnished by the board to licensed individuals. Members of the board or an inspector or an investigator that they appoint may inspect licensed facilities during regular business hours. The enforcement of rules and investigations of complaints 
against licensed individuals are the responsibility of the board, which would go through the director of the Division of Consumer Protection, handed off to the Attorney General for the State Board of Cosmetology to make a final ruling on in regard to licensed individuals. A violation of a licensee may result in a fine not to exceed $500. These violations might include the postering requirements of license not being near a station, the failure to continue to meet licensing requirements allowing a license to expire, engaging in beauty culture outside of the salon, operating a tanning facility without a license, and things like this. Cosmetology as defined by the State Board of Cosmetology includes performing services on the head, face, neck, shoulders, torso, arms, hands, legs, or feet of a person. It includes performing the following acts for compensation or with pay. Cutting, trimming, styling, arranging, dressing, curling, waving, permanent waving, cleansing, bleaching, tinting, coloring, or similarly treating hair. Applying oils, creams, antiseptics, clays, lotions, or other preparations to massage, cleanse, stimulate, manipulate, exercise, or beautify the skin. Arching eyebrows, using depilatories, or manicuring or pedicuring services. Cosmetology does not include threading. This is a separate license. It also does not include performing acts without compensation. Or for free. Cosmetology also does not include treating or diagnosing any illness or disease. These things must be referred to a physician. Cosmetology also does not include performing acts as a student in a cosmetology school. The education requirements for a cosmetologist at a licensed beauty culture school is a minimum of 1,500 hours, which include 575 theory and demonstration with 925 actual practice. Curriculum must contain the following, haircutting, sanitation, statutes and rules, salesmanship, management, manicuring, pedicuring, hair removal, anatomy and physiology, skin, hair, electricity, chemistry, shampooing, scalp performances, facials and makeup, hair coloring, texture services, hairstyling, and discretionary hours. Actual practice of not fewer than 25% on live models are required for the following. Hair cutting, hair color, texture services, and hairstyling. Actual practice must be performed on live models for all of the following. Manicuring, pedicuring, facials, scalp performances, shampoos, hair removal, and makeup. Salesmanship must be done on patrons only. Services may be performed on actual customers once students have reached a minimum of 200 hours. Performances of the following are minimum and what is required by the state. Please remember your school may require more than this. 400 hairstyles, 20 finger waves, 100 texture services, 25 scalp treatments, 30 facial treatments, 15 makeup applications, 250 haircuts, 75 hair coloring services, 25 manicures, 15 pedicures, 25 salesmanship, and 30 hair removal. Students must pass all written exams with a minimum of 75% per the state board. Jossie's Cosmetology School requires a minimum of 80%. The state board exam requires a minimum of 75% to be passed and is an exam issued by the state 
through a testing facility off-site. Students must pass all practical test out exams on services performed with a minimum of 75%. These exams will be administered by a school instructor on site at the school. Applicants must be at least 17 years old, be considered a graduate from a licensed school with all tuition and fees paid, all hours and progress completed, and pay the $40 application fee. Cosmetologists are also required to report all tips as income in order to avoid tax evasion. A manicurist is defined by the State Board as performing services on the following areas. Arms, hands, legs, or feet of a person. Manicuring includes cleaning, dressing, polishing, sculpting, tipping, or wrapping the nails of a person for compensation. Manicuring does not include performing acts without compensation or for free. The term also does not include treating illness or disease. This is left up to a physician along with diagnosing any of these illnesses or diseases. It also does not include performing acts as a student in a cosmetology school. Manicurists are required just as cosmetologists are to report all tips as income in order to avoid tax evasion. The education requirements for a manicurist include 450 hours at a licensed beauty culture school, 195 theory and demonstration, and 255 actual practice. Curriculum must include the following, sanitation, statutes and rules, nail techniques and sanitation, salesmanship, manicuring and pedicuring, anatomy and disorders, skin, electric drill file, chemistry, and discretionary hours. Actual practice must be performed on live models for all of the following. Manicures, pedicures, nail techniques, drill performances, and nail repairs. Salesmanship must be performed on patrons only. Services may be on actual customers once the students have reached a minimum of 40 hours. The minimum number of performances that must be completed per state standards are as follows. 40 manicures, 15 pedicures, 20 salesmanship, 28 nail techniques, 15 nail repairs, and 20 electric or dural performances. Your school may require additional services in order to graduate above this. The state requires that all written exams be passed with a minimum of 75%, including the state board exam. JOSIES requires subject tests be passed with a minimum of 80%. All practical test out exams on services performed have to have a required minimum score of 75%. These exams would be performed at the school and given by a licensed instructor. All applicants must be at least 18 years or older, be considered a graduate from a licensed school by having all tuition paid, hours in progress completed, and pay the $40 application fee. With proper training, cosmetologists are licensed to perform any service a licensed manicurist is able to perform. Newly licensed professionals must be supervised by professionals for a minimum of six months on all services. This helps answer any questions a newly licensed professional may have while in the workplace. Use of MMA formulated with acrylic liquid monomer is strictly prohibited. Cosmetologists require a minimum amount of equipment to perform services. 12 towels, 8 combs, 3 brushes, the appropriate amount of hair capes or protective covering needed. Manicurists require a minimum of 12 towels, 1 clean nipper, 1 fingernail clipper, 
toenail clipper, six files, one nail brush, one pusher, and a pedicure tub or foot bath if pedicures are offered. Cosmetologists performing manicuring services would also require this equipment. All razor devices are prohibited to shave, reduce, or remove calluses or corns. Sandpaper electric file bits must be thrown away after one-time usage and after each client. The sanitary requirements put forth by the State Board must be posted in a conspicuous area at the salon where licensed individuals can see them often. Proper disinfection procedures must be followed after each client. This includes cleaning the workstations. Floors, walls, carpeting, ceiling, furniture, and equipment must be kept clean and in good repair at all times. It is required that a No Pets Allowed sign be posted at the front of the salon, as pets are prohibited from being allowed on the premises. Hot and cold running water is required as a sanitary requirement. Sterilizers for each workstation are required to be filled with a proper disinfectant. And each of the four workstations must have at least one covered receptacle. Delinquent child support may result in the suspension of your license. Military personnel may not be penalized for license expiration while on active duty. The State Board would require a copy of those orders and waive any penalties and reinstate license immediately with payment. Expiration of license may occur, incur a late fee for reinstatement. Those who knowingly perform services in a salon while infectious or contagious, where it is able to be transmitted through casual contact, could incur a Class C infraction. Those who perform cosmetology services for compensation without a license may also incur a Class C infraction. Delinquent property taxes could result in license suspension. Licenses may be granted to those applicants from another state with similar educational requirements. States with lesser requirements may grant licensure based on years of experience and possible additional education. A license holder must notify the State Board by submitting a written statement of an address change within 30 days. This would include name changes. Any name change would require notification to the Board within 30 days. Misconduct of a licensee may result in revocation or suspension of license. Some of these examples are false advertising, fraud, medical inability to perform services, prohibited services being performed, practicing while knowingly contagious, a complaint investigation, and many others. Drug convictions may result in revocation or suspension of license. Licenses are issued for up to four years at a cost of $40. Licensed individuals have an expiration date of August 1st. In order to apply for a salon license, you must have a minimum of six months experience or be supervised by someone with six months experience. The requirements are hot and cold running water supply, the appropriate amount of sanitizers with disinfectant at each workstation, the appropriate amount of workstations for the services to be performed, with one covered waste receptacle for up to each four stations. Floors, walls, and furnishings must be clean at all times. Equipment must be in proper working order. The appropriate types of disinfectants to use in the salon readily available. Shampoo bowls not located in a restroom. Sinks in order to sanitize and disinfect tools and implements properly. Clean hands after every 
client service. Smocks must be worn. The appropriate amount of combs, brushes, and towels. Hair capes, drapes, and protective coverings. Signage at the front listing the salon as a licensed facility with no pets allowed. Licenses posted at each workstation. A building permit or certificate of occupancy. The application would then need to be completed and paid for and sent off to the state in which they would contact you for a physical inspection prior to opening. Questions. Do you have any questions regarding the formation of the state board after going through this lesson plan? Questions regarding specific requirements for cosmetologists. What about questions regarding specific requirements for manicurists? Do you have questions regarding access and responsibilities of sanitary requirements? Questions regarding salon licenses? How about questions on what is next? If you don't know these answers, do some additional research. It is your duty and responsibility as a licensed professional to know each and every law, rule, and statute and standard that affects your license. The following documents are available on the listed websites. Use the following slides to study for state board preparation. Add any additional flashcards to your collection that you feel you need. And contact us immediately if you notice an error in this lesson so that you'll be prepared to take an exam over this lesson. Inspections may be completed during business hours by a board member investigator or someone the board appoints as an inspector. Complaints must be filed in writing or online and submitted to the Attorney General for investigation. The board members and numbers of each type. Two must be licensed cosmetologists, two licensed barbers, one manicurist, electrologist, or esthetician, one school owner without a professional license, and one general consumer unlicensed. Also a reminder that each of the licensees must have performed services for the five previous years consecutively. The executive board members would include the president, vice president, and secretary elected at the first annual meeting by a majority of the board members. No more than five of these board members may belong to the same political party. It is required that they are an Indiana resident and the term of office is three years. The state board exam is administered by an exam service appointed by the state board. There is no required number of hours prior to that administration. It is approved by each school. A passing score of 75% minimum for both practical and written must be passed prior to licensure. A written exam may be repeated for a fee without additional education hours. Salon applicants must be supervised by someone licensed with a minimum of six months experience. And a salon license is not required by an individual booth renter. That would be the responsibility of the salon owner. Salon entrance must be separate from a residence. Requires a shampoo sink not located in the bathroom. Requires hot and cold running water and an adequate supply of tools, furnishings, 
and equipment to perform the services offered in the salon. Salons must have a sign posted at the entrance stating there are no pets allowed, the name of the establishment, and that it is licensed as a salon. Cosmetologists are required to complete 1,500 hours, 575 theory, 925 actual practice within three years of enrollment from a licensed school. The cost for a cosmetology or manicurist license is up to four years and it expires on August 1st. A mobile salon license would be for a self-contained unit or an individual professional visiting a nursing home, client home, or hospital. Cosmetologists may perform services on the following areas, head, face, hands, arms, feet, legs, torso, shoulders, and neck for compensation. Cosmetology license may be suspended or revoked for any of the following. Drug charges, delinquent child support, delinquent property taxes, medically unable to perform services safely, fraudulent billing, false advertising, or fraud. Sanitary requirements must be furnished by the state board and posted in a conspicuous area in a salon. Military members have no penalty for license expiration during active duty, and special considerations might be made for those military members or spouses of military members who relocate to Indiana for military duty in obtaining their licenses more quickly. Shampoo bowls and workstations must be sanitized after each use. It is a classy infraction to perform cosmetology services without a license or to perform cosmetology services in a salon or school while knowingly contagious through casual contact. A wellness exam may be asked and performed at the cost of the licensee when deemed necessary due to a medical or mental inability to perform services as a licensed professional. The Attorney General's Office investigates complaints filed with the Director of the Division of Consumer Protection and notifies licensees in writing of all complaints issued by consumers. Address changes may be sent via regular mail or email in writing within 30 days of the change to the State Board. This requirement is also for name changes. Licenses must be posted at the station where the majority of services are to be performed. Cosmetology license requirements must be a minimum of 17 years of age, have graduated, by having all monies paid and hours in progress completed, pass both exams with a 75% or higher, complete the application, and submit the $40. Manicurist license requirements must be a minimum of 18 years of age, graduated with all monies paid and 450 hours in progress completed, pass both exams with 75% or higher, Complete the application and submit the $40. Licenses expire every four years for individuals on August the 1st. The minimum amount of equipment for a cosmetologist to perform services, 12 towels, eight combs, three brushes, and the appropriate amount of hair capes or protective coverings needed. For a manicurist, the minimum equipment is 12 towels, one nipper, one toenail clipper, one fingernail clipper, six nail files, one nail brush, one nail pusher, and one petty tub or foot bath where pedicures are offered. Shampoo operators do not require a license. Natural braiding no longer requires a license. MMA use is prohibited in the state of Indiana. 
razor devices are prohibited for use in shaving or reducing any calluses in the state of Indiana. The Indiana governor appoints each board member for a three-year term and may fill a vacancy as it arises. Thank you for joining us for e-learning with Chaucey's Cosmetology School on our interpretation of the Indiana State Board of Cosmetology and Barber Examiners, Statutes, and Rules. Good luck!